Tot Soy. Yes, this is a member of the Brassica family. It's a uh, Asian variety that has its origin in China, but it began gaining its popularity in Japan. This is day one right here of the growth cycle. Now moving on to day six, I planted three seeds and three seeds germinated. So now I'm just checking to see if any, if there's any stragglers or any weaklings inside of the bunch. I can see one right there on the right. That one looks like it's going to be a weakling, but I'm going to put it inside of the panel. I'm going to see which one of these has better genetics, and then we're going to decide which one to keep from there. Now, day 21 comes around, and now it's time to decide. So I can pull it out of the panel, um, and then I can uh, uh, examine each one of the plants, and I can find out which one of these guys am I going to keep, which one has the the best, the, the better potential is what I'm looking for. And you can see I'm just kind of got my hands all in a pile. And I, I can see that there's one weakling right here. The branch is snapping off. Look at that. But guess what? This one has to go. Boom. Lunchtime right there. It has to go. No plant left behind. That's my motto around here. Now we can see that the plant on the right has elongated. It's stretched out versus the one that's on the left, which is short, broad, and compact. That's the one I want to keep. The one on the right has to go. It has to go. Boom. You got to go. Boom. You got to go. Boom. You got to go. I might keep the one in the middle. Psych. Boom. You got to go. No plant left behind, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is the transplant right here. I'm putting it into an NFT unit and I'm going to let it grow out here. Now, day 31 comes around and we can see that this plant is showing some slight wilting. And this is because the temperature in the greenhouse is hot around this time. It's a, oh, above 90 degrees right now. And the plant is transpiring or it's losing water faster than the roots are able to uptake it. So this is a response. Now here I'm putting on some Azimax um, organic pesticide to prevent the bugs because the bugs are out around this time. Now here's day 38. Now we can look at the roots here and you can see that they're dark. This is this shows a sign that there is a problem or that there's too much fish waste getting past the mechanical filtration. But this is no problem. As soon as I seen this, I know it's time to fix it. It's time to do some tweaking to the mechanical filter, which will be fixed later on down the growth cycle. And I'm putting some neem oil on um, on the plant to pre further prevent these bugs that are out around this time because it's still warm and the bugs are out during this time in Florida at when it's warm. So now we're on day 44. Yes, day 44, the plant is looking good. Plant is looking good. Remove some of this dead leaves out of here, get it out of here. Check the plant out, make sure there's no bugs that have um, made a nest inside of this crop. And it doesn't look like there's anything in there because we have used preventative maintenance um, to stop that from occurring. There's a slight deficiency in the plant we can see with some magnesium, um, but that's going to be taken care of throughout the growth cycle. Don't worry. When I catch it, it's time to, um, to fix it. Now here I'm spraying the last round of the organic pesticide on the plant before the harvest. We're about 10 days out prior to harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that and make sure no new pests come through and try to congregate on the plant and rip holes all in the plant because that's what they like to do at the last minute. Now we're on day 53. Yes, this is the harvest day, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that plant. Super green, nice and green. It almost looks fake. Looks like somebody just pulled it right out of the manufacturer. So now I'm going to harvest it, take it out, um, examine it. I'm going to look to see how it's, how it's doing. Um, it looks great to me. It looks almost like a Ninja Turtle shell. I don't know. This is Tot Soy is a crazy looking plant. I'm happy. You can see I'm excited, man. I'm like a proud parent around here. I like this plant. I like how it grows and I like the way it looks. So this is Tot Soy. Now let's look at the roots. You remember earlier they were super dark. Now they've lightened up because I made a modification to the mechanical filter. Now look closely. You can see that there's worms that have congregated or colonized the root zone of this plant. And what they're doing is those dark spots inside of the root zone, which is fish waste accumulation, these worms are breaking down minerals inside of that and returning it back to the system of aquaponics. Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles.